Hello everyone, welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video, and in this video I'm going to be focusing mainly on pets, so getting new pets and upgrading my current pet and all that good stuff, and also doing more damage in dragons. Like, subscribe if you have not already, I hope you enjoy the episode. So the first thing I want to do is get an epic or legendary skeleton pet. Now the skeleton pet is actually really good right now, and uh, it's really cheap as well. It's only two stacks of enchanted bones along with a super enchanted egg. Now. It is a really good pet for super cheap, as I've already stated, so that makes it viable for a nerf. Either the stats are going to get nerfed, or it's going to be more expensive to craft. And if it does get more expensive to craft, then I want to get it while it's cheap, so that's why I want to do that as soon as possible. Also, if you do follow my series, I am going to do a progress update at the end of the video, since I have made a lot of off-camera progress. Okay, so as you can see here, I have my two stacks of enchanted bones and a super enchanted egg. Now the super enchanted egg costed like about 400k on the auction house, so it was a little more expensive than I thought it was going to be. I also tried to get pet luck potions from pretty much everywhere, and I could just not get my hands on any, so I'm just going to kind of hope that it's going to end up being legendary. Mystery Skeleton Pet, craft. And it's epic. Well... I'll have to do some comparisons, look up the stats for a legendary just to see what the difference is and if it's worth going for a legendary instead of an epic, because I really don't want to break my bank account. So I'll have to see if it's worth crafting another couple skeleton pets for a legendary. Okay, so it does seem like going for the legendary pet is worth it, so I'm going to try one more time. Uh, if I don't get it this time, I'm just going to leave it go because I don't really care that much. Uh, what else do I need? I need the enchanted egg. Okay. It looks like the price actually went down a little bit. Mystery skeleton pet. Craft. Another epic. Well, I have 10 mil. So I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again. Uh, let's get the egg first because it's already here. And the bones. Alright, last time. Yes! Legendary, let's go. Okay, uh, let's get to leveling this guy up. Okay, so I know I said I didn't want to break my bank account, but there is a there's an Endermite pet, okay? And basically, when you're in the end, well really anywhere, but when you're in the end grinding for zealots or endermen or whatever, it has a pearl muncher ability. Basically, if you pick up an ender pearl from off the ground or from killing an enderman, then it'll just eat the pearl, it'll go out of your inventory, and you'll get five coins for it. Now that's really good. And that's an ability that I want right now. So, okay, 1.4 million coins on a bunch of endstone, and of course, another super enchanted egg. I really don't care if this is legendary, but I mean, of course, it would be nice. But I just want the Pearl Muncher ability. Mystery Endermid Pet. Yes, Pearl Muncher, right there. Okay, so I was about to do a Slayer when I noticed that my Enderman Pet was done upgrading. So I want to check that out and see what happened. Okay, so I just got my Enderman Pet, and there we go. A level 1 epic Enderman Pet. Now, this is probably going to be my main pet since uh, it does a lot of crit damage and... You know, that's pretty nice. But I also want to see how much it takes to... Oh, I just accidentally added it to my pet menu. I want to see how much it takes to upgrade it to Legendary. I'm fairly certain it's going to be a lot. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that's almost 40 million coins. And 8 Enchanted Eyes of Enter. The Enchanted Eyes of Enter aren't going to be a problem. I have plenty of those. The, but the uh, 40 mil coins is kind of a lot. Okay, I think now would be a good time to fight a couple of dragons. So if I go into my ender chest, you can see I got Godly Spider's Boots. And basically this will allow me to double jump for the cost of 50 mana. And basically I could just keep double jumping up to the dragon and melee it to get a ton of damage. So I think the next two dragon fights I'm going to do is going to be in the form of a time lapse. So let's get right into that.
So as promised, I am going to do a progress update for all of you that do follow the series. So first of all, I built this nice little fishing area right here. This is the most efficient you can get in the game because right here is a forest biome and basically I can use a weather stick to make it rain. And uh, yeah, the rain will give a 20% fishing speed boost. And then once I catch something, I can put it in these chests over here. Also, I have most of the music disc in the game right here. So uh, that's nice because uh, I don't want to fish without music. That's just boring. I built a new minion area. As you can see, the last one was very ugly. And I just really like how this looks. It also comes with a new storage area. I got rid of the old magma farm. And I now just have the new one right here. Only have two magma minions up there because all the other ones are making iron for enchanted hoppers. And last but not least, I have the new portal area. I'm really proud of this. I love how it looks, especially with the oak planks on the inside here. This has every portal in the game except for some of the ones from the park, which is the tree mining area. So yeah, that's pretty much all I did off camera. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next Minecraft video. Bye everyone!